Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Brooklyn Born Tarot. Thank you for being here. I am truly grateful to have you. Please hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons below and the notification bell if you would like to be notified the next time I upload. It is greatly appreciated. Don't be a gavone. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across them, this is when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. We do not read for male or female. We are reading energy here and channeling for energy. So you apply it to your situation, whether or not I say male or female. And on that note, here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to give and relay clear and concise messages for the higher good for the collective of my Capricorns for the month of July 2022. Hi, Cappies. I love you guys. All right, Spirit, what is it that Capricorn is meant to see? Okay, so you had, in the past you were uh, tempering your emotions in a situation, all right? You had to probably not blow your top on something and just, you know, yep, not lose your temper. So that's not easy sometimes, right? And in the current situation, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard at something. Maybe tempering those emotions, but that is in the past. So somebody is working hard on something, Cappy. What are you working on? Your money. We know Cappies love hard work, right? Okay, let's do this as they came out. So we have the hangs man. So you're working hard. You placed yourself into a timeout, okay? The hangman is about concentration, pause, weighing your options. That's your challenge. Your challenge is to take a second, take a breath, you know, contemplate, pause, pause for a minute. Okay? Weigh your choices, okay? Now, your problem is the Wheel of Fortune, which should never be a problem. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, and that's what you want. So maybe you're pausing and concentrating and weighing your choices to get that Wheel of Fortune to turn in your favor. Oh, no. Smart on to me. I hate this. this. All right. Three of Swords. We know this. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Worst card in the deck. I don't care what anybody says. I'd rather deal with the devil or death in a situation than this. Because this is emotional pain that other people inflicted upon you. Probably a third party situation. Okay? And this is your beliefs. So... This is how you're feeling. Anybody going through this, my heart goes out to you. Big hugs and kisses. And don't worry, time heals all wounds, right? Oh, look at this. I'm so happy. Okay, so once you get past this three of cups, uh, three of swords situation here with these swords in your chest. Oh, look what you're going to get. You're going to get the ten of cups. What's the ten of cups? Ultimate happiness, right? Ultimate happiness. This is the happy wife, happy life. Disney fairy tale, you know, rainbows and butterflies, right? It is possible. It is possible, Cappies. In your environment, you got the king of pentacles. All right, so this could be you or somebody else in your environment, but at least it's the king of pentacles, okay? And I have to say that I call the king of pentacles the businessman of the kings. He is stable. He is emotionally balanced, hardworking, and patient. He's got his shit together. And that's all we care about, right? And being that it's pentacles with a Capricorn, that actually makes a lot of sense, all right? So you're going to have the Ten of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me, ultimate happiness, maybe because you're secure in the bag, <clears throat> right? Secure the bag. I tell all my signs. When you secure the bag, the bag can never stab you. The bag can't do this to you, only somebody else. Fall in love with your pentacles. Okay, oh. Because if you don't, you don't want to wind up like this, right? You don't want to wind up like this. The five of pentacles is loss and hardship, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be you that's feeling this. But obviously, I mean, this person doesn't even have shoes on. So come on. And what kind of people are in this church anyway that they will leave them out here like this? So that's, you know, that's a whole other story. I don't know. Stay away from that loss and hardship. Secure your bag. When you secure your bag, be careful because people get jealous. Especially these kind of people. Okay? 
What is the most likely possible outcome for Capricorn for July of 22? Of course, remember, we all have free will, so it will be different for everyone. Spirit, oh, gee. Okay, we're going to take this one because too many cards is no good. The Ace of Swords. This is the truth. There's going to be a breakthrough in the situation, so you're not going to be like this, okay? The advice from Spirit is to stay out of this. This is advice from spirit because in your environment, you have this, right? And this. And forget this, all right? This is a no good situation. This is somebody who, third party situation, emotional pain. Who needs emotional pain? It hurts so much more than getting in a fist fight with somebody, right? Or getting some physical pain. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you got the world. That's the ultimate success and happiness. Okay. And this is the truth, the ultimate success and happiness. It's going to involve a tower. That's forced change. But this is going to be a good change. This is going to be a change that you're not into. You're going to be coming into your pentacles, okay? You're securing the bag, okay? Now, let's clarify for you, my dears. Okay. Spirit and ancestors, may I please have clear and concise messages for the sign of Capricorn for the month of July 2022. Please and thank you. Oops. Okay, here we go. What's with the temperance? Show me the temperance. What are we tempering ourselves about? What were we tempering ourselves about? That was in your recent past. About the Ten of Wands. Well, yeah. All right, so somebody busted your balls and aggravated you. And instead of, you know, popping off, you had to temper your emotions, maybe bite your tongue. That's all right. That's all right. Sometimes silence is golden. That's all I'm going to say. Leave people wondering what you're thinking. Ten of Wands is burdens. Drop all the burdens that made you had to temper your emotion and start doing this. Start working hard on yourself or working hard on your investments. Weigh your options because you got the wheel of fortune in your environment, okay? Hold on. What is with this Ten of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. You have the Five of Wands. Well, the Five of Wands, this is Leo. This is conflict. This conflict is probably the reason why you're feeling so burdened and you had to keep bite your tongue and keep your mouth shut, okay? But it's all going to be for your higher good and working out in your, the truth, favor, okay? Five of wands. Oh, wait, that one just flew right out of here. Seven of pentacles, okay, so that's advising you to invest your effort. You got the seven and eight of pentacles right next to each other. Invest your effort. Work hard. Weigh your options. It's the wheel of fortune's coming in for you, baby. Yeah, baby. Eight of pentacles, here we go. Whoa. Okay, let's take them as we came. The Eight of Wands. Woo, 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 woo. The Eight of Wands is rapid forward movement, incoming messages. Look at this girl. She's whipping those wands. Yeah. But in order to whip those wands, you got to come out of this stupid shit, okay? This nostalgia and stagnancy. Stagnancy equals stink on this channel. When you're sitting there not washing your ass, looking at these empty cups that are probably warm, full of flies, just disgusting, and you don't pick your head up, look out the door, see the sky, the beautiful water, and this one coming in with a nice, cold, fresh drink, right? Who the hell wants to drink warm shit that's been sitting on the table for God knows how long when you got a nice, fresh, cold, frothy drink coming in? I say take that new drink. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Show me the Four of Cups, please. Four of Cups. Oh. Okay, we're not going to take a thousand of them. Four of Cups is the Four of Swords. All right, so again, oh my God. Fear and anxiety. You're sitting there like, you know, Mocus, okay? A Mocus Marcus feeling all, uh, you know, just nostalgic, stagnancy equals stink, anxiety and fear. Get out of it. Whip that wands around. Get out of it. Go into some, you know concentration, pause yourself, weigh your op options, you know, think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing, okay? That's all I'm saying. Now, 
What is with this weighing of options and pausing? What is with this hangman? What? Show us clear and concise messages from my Capricorns. What do they need to see and understand? So that if this is a situation that's coming up in the future, you are better prepared with this little roadmap. That's what we're all about, right? Trying to forewarn you. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. Ay, 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 Marona me. All right, so look. The Two of Swords is in denial. So whatever you're weighing here and contemplating and thinking about, you're thinking about it in the wrong way. You're in denial, all right? Don't be in denial. The cup is not half empty or half full. The cup just has liquid in it. Sometimes the liquid isn't something you want to drink, but accept it. Be a realist, okay? Because obviously you have 10 swords that are sticking out of your back, okay? This is painful endings and destruction. That's all I'm going to say. And anybody that's sticking swords in your back is a coward because they didn't have the nerve to come in your face, all right? So that means that you intimidate them somehow. Whoever stuck these swords in your back, you're intimidated, okay? They didn't have the cognones to come and do it in your face, right? Oh, I hate cowards. Okay, here we go. Let them go. Whoever it was, you see this person running away? Let them run. They're running away because they're cowards. They're like the leaves on the tree that blow away after a season. Some people come for a season and a reason, okay? To teach you something. Maybe it's to teach you not to get those swords stuck in your back again, okay? New leaves will grow on the tree in the spring. And when they do, you will be the empress. Completely abundant. Birthing new ideas. This one, this empress, she is the queen of the world. Not just the country, right? She's got everything she needs or wants. She's beautiful. She smells like roses then. Look how happy the animals is. She's... Look at this. This is all her property, all her fruit, okay? Empress energy. God bless you. Okay? God bless you. Three of swords. Three of swords. What is this pain? And emotional man, I got to get up off the chair. I can't even tell you how much I hate that. Okay, so on the floor, what do we got? We got... We got the six of pentacles, which is stability. And then we got the queen of wands. The Queen of Wands is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have fire highly aspected in your chart someplace here, guys. Okay? And this queen, you know, I call her the stern queen. She is stern, organized, no nonsense, unemotional, assertive, no bullshit, head over heart. She will feed you dinner, and if you disrespect her, this woman will stick the fork in your head as soon as she watches you eat. So don't screw around. Now, this is you or somebody in your energy. I'm hoping that it's you. That you're going to get your emotions out of the game over this betrayal that you had, okay? This betrayal with these heart, with these swords in your freaking heart. People, I'll tell you. What's the Queen of Wands, spirit, ancestors? What's the Queen of Wands? What are we being so stern, unemotional, assertive, formidable? All good, right? All good. All the attributes of being a fire sign. So, you're there in your chart. Go find them. Okay. Huh, I'm going to take this. You got the Eight of Cups. This is detachment. You're going to detach. You're going to... Oh, listen to this. I hear spirit. I hear you loud and clear, all right? Listen, let me just relay the message. One thing at a time. Okay. So, you got this. This happened to you. Okay, you can't help it. Somebody did that to you, all right? It's going to hurt. Get over it. Time heals all wounds. Then you're going to come into the Six of Pentacles. You, you know, you're thinking this Six of Pentacles is stability. So you're going to feel like you, you know, you're coming out of this, you're starting to get stable. The reason why you're doing that is because you're, you're in your Queen of Wands energy, all right? You're looking at it from a head, unemotional, head over heart place. So you're going to detach from the whole situation, right? Detach yourself from the whole situation. Screw them. You know what I mean? Goodbye. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Because once you detach yourself to go look for your ninth and 10th cup, you're going to have complete success in this situation. Complete success. And that's all we care about, right? It's for the higher good of all. Okay? Show me this 10 of cups. Show me this 10 of cups. Show me this 10 of cups. Spirit and ancestors. Oh, come on. Can we please have... Thank you. Seven of Swords. Well, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Dishonesty, thievery, robbing, 
you know, just, just complete fugazi bullshit. Look, this one's so greedy. She's got all the swords in her hand and she's still looking at the two. She's still looking at the two, okay? If you want this ultimate happiness, get away from this dishonest, no good energy, whoever or whatever it is that did this to you, okay? Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Never forget. Seven of Swords. Show me the seven this dishonest, no good, lying, even rat bastard. Who is this Seven of Swords? What is this? What is this? Show me. What is this? Show me, Spirit. It's the Nine of Wands. Well, there you go. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, my God. This is the player from Malaya, okay? This is the charming. He's daredevil. He's a smooth operator. He's in for a good time, not a long time. Look, he hit whoever it was in this town. This cat is so burnt out from the party and can't even hang on. He's hanging on for dear life. His wand is down. He's not worried about what's behind him. He's already moving forward. He's moving forward before he's even finished with what's behind him. So don't let the door hit this energy in the ass on the way out. Because this is the energy that was dishonest, keeping you from your Ten of Pentacles, and doing this to you. Okay? Let's get it straight. Get it straight. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. This. Uh, it's going to go quiet. Again, a Leo. I don't want that surprise. <laughs> It's going to require some strength, some inner strength, some taming of the beast. Tame your own beast about not letting this player from Malaya around, okay? Because they'll tell you what you want to hear, male or female. Once they get you where they want you, they're on their way out, looking into where they're going next, okay? This is a selfish, this is a selfish person. See this? A selfish, dishonest person. You're going to require strength to get past it. And you're good, too, because you got your tenant. Keep the Ten of Cups on top. We keep the positive cards. We don't like no negativity on this channel. What's the King of Pentacles here? What's this businessman? Maybe somebody coming into your environment that's got his shit together and not acting like this jerk off, all right? Not acting like this. King of Pentacles, please. King of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Spirit of Ancestors. May I please have a clarification? What is this? We're not going to take it, though, because it was flipped in there. Okay, for this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, please. Show me the King of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Please and thank you. That's too many cards. It's a quarter of a deck. We don't clarify with that many. Okay, there you go. Oh, good. Two at once. Okay, again with the Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. This situation here, this three of swords that was, you know, the knife stuck in your chest. There's going to be somebody around you that's going to be patient, stable, emotionally balanced, okay? And you are going to have a breakthrough in the situation. And this is the truth. You've got the ace of swords two times in your reading, okay? The most likely possible outcome and this. The truth is, you got to put this in the past. Get over it. Don't worry. Don't take any revenge. Don't do anything. Karma is real. Okay? What goes around comes around. So, you got your ace. Your head's up high. Your ace. I'm so happy for you. Breakthrough in the truth. Maybe you're going to find out exactly what happened with these. Why did you get these ace? Why did you get these damn swords? Maybe you don't know. You don't even have to know, really. Who gives a shit, right? Who really gives a shit? Let it go. Let go and let God... Concentrate on yourself and keep moving it forward. Keep moving it forward, Cappies. Come on, show me the Ace of Swords. There we go. Ooh. Page of Wands. Fire. Aries. You know, there's a lot of fire over here. You could have it highly aspected in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this kid, this kid here, he's a younger person. He could be the life of the party. He looks like he's doing the walk of shame home. His shoelaces aren't even tied. He probably smells so bad that they... Cat don't even want to hang out with him anymore. The cat's like, later, later, Gator. Take the lizard with you. Take the reptilian lizard with you. I don't want nothing to do with this, okay? I'm going over there to lick my fur in the field, okay? Page of Wands. So, yeah. If you want this breakthrough and the truth about this, who probably did this, 
and you want this, okay? So don't let anybody that's roaming around in energy like this around you or bullshit you, Cappies. Don't be bullshitted, okay? Keep your head in the game. What's with this five of pentacles? Because I'm going to tell you something. That this card is right before here. Spirit's telling me to tell you that this and this is what's going to make you this, okay? Five of pentacles. Loss and hardship. Of course you're going to feel loss and hardship if you're walking around dripping blood and you got some, you know, jerk off trying to play you. Stop. You're smarter than that. Get into that queen of wands. Energy. No nonsense. I'll stick a fork in your head, you no know, good son of a bitch. Energy, okay? Yeah. Here we go. Four of wands. Ace of wands. Right? You got aces all over this. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so the four of wands is stability, Aries. Stable, happy, look how nice the house, the field. There's a little... I mean, this is, like, very nice. You got friends hanging around. Maybe you're going to be going to some parties this summer. Enjoy them. Go wherever you're invited. You know, you never know, even if you don't feel like it. Ace of Wands, success and passion. Success and passion, and what? What are you having success and passion? At overcoming this crap, okay? Overcome it. What's with the Ace of Wands? We like that success and passion. We only want to be successful and move forward in positive directions on this channel. Do not vibrate with the reptilian forces. You could keep your pet alligators to yourself, okay? There we go. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Freaking look at this. You can't <coughs> I'm joking. <coughs> you can't even believe it. Look. All right. Right? But then you're gonna be what? What are we gonna be doing here? What did I say? Stability. Stability is coming in from this five of pentacles. That's gonna bring you. Success and passion. And the sun. What do we know about the sun in these cards? It's the ultimate happiness. It's the completion. You're dancing around a field. Look, still with more of your... Look, with your friends at the party, right? Right? The sun is out. Everything's illuminated. So whatever this was, it's going to come to... You know, whatever's done in the dark comes out in the light. All right? So whatever you're worried about that you don't know, sooner or later you'll find out about it. You probably won't even give a shit anymore because why? You're dancing in the field of sunflowers. God bless you. You deserve it. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. What's with this Wheel of Fortune? What was the problem? What was the problem? Why getting to this wheel to turn in your favor? Why was it a problem? Why was it a problem? Because you were sitting all... Yeah, Mocus Marcus again. Look at this. Oh, poor me. I feel so sorry for myself. I'm on a pity pot, right? I have loss, I have sadness. Who doesn't? Snap out of it, okay? Because if you stop with your head down, looking all sad and when I look at, oh, I spilled this, and turn around, you may spill two cups of wine here, but you still got a whole bottle on the table. And you got two more cups. Plus, you got these balloons, a little party going on, and if you ask me, that looks like a lobster. What's better than that, right? So, yeah, get out of that. What's with this five of cups? What's with this five of cups? What's with this loss and sadness, please? Can we see this loss and sadness? Not that we care about it, because the Knight of Swords. Okay, so air, yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But again, what a knight. But at least this knight is not the player from Moya. This guy is straightforward. See, he's coming right in, looking right at you in the face, not on his way out with his head turned like this guy, right? Sword is up, coming in, okay? He is power. He is overthinking. He is a doer. He is straightforward. So I'd rather deal with somebody that's straightforward. Would you know, burn me with the truth. Don't soothe me with a bunch of lies and bullshit. Okay? I'd rather know what I'm dealing with. Okay? So somebody around you in your energy, you got, you know, a few court cards here. So there were a number of people involved in this. What's with the Knight of Swords? What's with the Knight of Swords? What's with this uh, straightforward, organized, efficient, sweet thinking person? Huh? What? Coming in with an offer. Now, you know, it doesn't always have to... That one just flip. Let's take it. It doesn't always have to be emotional. It could be business, too. All right? Oh, my God. In the Knight of Cups. Well, I'm going to tell you. Either you or somebody around you is embodying both these energies. But if I had to have knights, these are the two knights I would want. Again, time out. Weigh your options. If you're weighing your options about who to choose here, the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Cups... Let me just give you a little information. This is a stubborn, responsible, loyal person. This person 
is not the one that played hooky in school. If he's starting a business, he's like really focused, worried about being kind, friendly, playful, very innocent, not even, you know, trying to come in nefariously. This swords guy, this is, you know, easily bored, he's straightforward, he's a doer, he's an overthinker, smart. But if I had to choose one, you know, you have to make your own choice. I'm not going to tell you what I would choose. We have free will here, right? Just, you know, you're in the hangman position for a reason here. Stay in there and make sure you're choosing the right decision. Even if you got to stay in there for a minute. Stay there for a minute. Stay there for a minute and make the right decisions, okay? If these are big life-changing decisions or, you know, decisions about your life, you, you don't want no more of this. So just take your time. Breathe, center, ground. Now. Your most future likely outcome. The Ace of Swords. Breakthrough and the truth. Show me this future. Yes. Well, like I said, there's an ending and a transition. That might be the breakthrough. And the truth is you got to, you know, this situation's got to die. This situation's got to die so that you could come into a nice breakthrough for this. Okay? I don't know how else to explain it. The cards speak for themselves and the cards never lie. What is this transformation? What is this death? What is this ending of a situation? I mean, and this is not the Grim Reaper coming from somebody either, all right? It doesn't have to be. I'm not saying that, the, you know, we all have our limits and our expiration dates, but this is not, I don't see any coffins here. This is just about the ending of a situation, okay? Transformation. Well, you got to transform every day, right? Every day something new. Because we like our Nine of Cups. What did I just say? Changing of a situation. Spirit, I love when you clarify. Thank you. Nine of Cups. Change and perseverance. So, the breakthrough and the truth is that you have no other choice but to change this shit up. Change it up. Mix it up. Sir, mix a lot. That's what I'm hearing. Sir, mix a lot. And the Queen of Swords. Okay? This is the smart, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, organized, efficient, you know, problem solver, creative, loyal, good. Use your head. That's what Spirit's telling me. Use your head in this situation, okay? Now, the bottom of the deck, you got the Seven of Cups, which is we all know a lot of options, and we all love that. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my God, I think you got all four aces. The Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. See? You're going to be manifesting a new beginning, okay? It's going to require you to, you know, temper your emotions, okay? Temper yourself. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? Now, Kipper, do you have anything that you would like to add for Capricorn for July 2022 or whenever they come across this reading? That's when they're meant to see it. What do you want to say, Kipper? Come on, Kip. Any messages for Capricorn, Kipper? Any messages for Capricorn? Thank you, Kip. What else we got? Anything else for Capricorn? Let's see what we got so far. Okay, so, oh, there's an official person involved in this. So this could be, you know, this could be anybody with some kind of official, you know, circumstance in life. This could be, you know, a cop, somebody in the uh, military, you know, somebody with some integrity. Somebody with some integrity. That's what Spirit's saying. And it's a main male. So there could be some guy or a main male coming in that has some kind of official title or position, okay? And what is this main male doing here, Kipper? Because he's pretty good looking, actually. Oh, my God, and a privileged lady and the community. This official person. Oh, my God. You know what I'm getting? Spirit is telling me ma this could involve marriage, even though the marriage cards didn't come out. Official person, this could be a judge, somebody that's going to be a main male coming in, right? We know that we have options here. We've seen them. Privilege, that's going to turn you into a privileged lady. Now, Kipper reads specifically male and female, but flip the roles if you have to. And then you're going to be a part of a really nice community. And I would say a really nice community, not one of these superficial shits, okay? These people, they look like they're very down to earth. They're not like, you know, trying to impress anybody. They look like they're, they're very kind, very honest. It's a very clean environment, very nice community. Whatever kind of community that you're coming into, anything else, Kip? You know, maybe you're, you know, whatever this privilege is that you're going to be getting, male or female, 
that's maybe going to be coming in on an official document. You could be getting some official mail. Okay, and here we go. Oh, God, this main mail is going to be wealthy. So that's why you're going to turn into a privileged lady. And either there's a child involved or this is going to make you so happy you're going to feel like you're a child again. You're going to be looking at the world in wonderment and awe. So God bless you. This is all good thing. Now, let's see what the dragon oracles have to say. Oh, mighty dragon oracles, do you have anything that you would like to add for the sign of Capricorn for July 2022? Let's hit it. Hit it. Come on. Give me one, dragons. Okay. The bottom of the deck, you have knowledge. That's right. Use your head. Your head will Okay. And here we go. Transcendence. Achieving success. Yeah, you got to transcend. And this, that's what this whole thing was about. Transcendence, okay? So on that note, I'd like to end this reading. If you would like to make a donation or book a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Thank you, Cappies. Love and light.